Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be showing you how to make a super simple tie back scrub cap with ear saving buttons to loop your mask around and the pattern is available in the description. Getting started with supplies, you want one yard of cotton. You can get away with less than one yard, but I recommend grabbing more in case you make a mistake. Cotton comes in so many different patterns. It's super durable, easy to clean, and lightweight. You'll need three to four inches of elastic. I recommend using quarter inch elastic, but if you can't find a quarter inch, a half inch will do just fine. Two buttons, and this is optional if you want to make the mask holder. And lastly, your pattern, and this pattern is available at properfitclothing.com. They're super easy to use. All you have to do is print it, cut it, and you're ready to go. And everything will be linked down in the description from the supplies to the pattern. And this pattern comes in multiple sizes, so cut out the size that works best for you. After cutting out the pattern, you're going to want to end up with one top main panel. And be sure to cut this panel on the fold. And two side main panels. Also cut this pattern on the fold. Getting started with assembly, grab your 3 to 4 inch piece of elastic and also your top main panel. Mark your hem and fold lines on the wrong side of the top main panel. We're going to grab that piece of elastic and place it in between the fold and hemline. Make sure it's on the left or the right side and then go ahead and roll that hemline over and the fold line, sandwiching that elastic in between the layers. Place a pin through the elastic and through the layers. And we're going to do a tack stitch as close as we can to the outside edge to hold all those layers together. Now we're going to pull the elastic to the opposite edge and fold the layers over the same way. And once you have them all together, go ahead and place a pin. We're going to add a tack stitch to that edge as well. With both of the tack stitches in place, stretch out that elastic, place some pins through all the layers, and we're going to stitch on the inside of that elastic. Just make sure you don't stitch on the elastic itself. Next, we're going to grab the two side main panels. We're going to place the right sides together, lining up the top notches and the side sew marks. And when you have it all lined up, go ahead and throw pins all the way around the outside edge. And we're going to sew at a quarter inch all the way around the bottom outside edge, starting at one sew mark and ending at the other sew mark. Trim the corners on both sides to reduce the bulk. Once you have the corners trimmed, flip the right side out. We're going to be adding an edge stitch along the entire bottom. The best way to do this is to pin the layers together and use an edge stitch presser foot. We're going to be starting at one sew mark and ending at the sew mark on the opposite side. <laughs> Your 
The presser foot we're using sews at about a quarter inch to the edge. I recommend sewing at a quarter inch or closer to the edge. Grab your top main panel and your side main panel and what we're going to do is line up the notches and pin all the way around the outside edge. And the easiest way to do this is start from the middle notch and pin towards the left side and then pin back towards the right side. And keep in mind the top panel should go past the side sew marks on the side main panel. And once you have it all pinned down, we're going to sew at a quarter inch seam allowance around the outside edge. You can snip notches around the curve to reduce the bulk. At this point I like to flip it right side out and check all the edges make sure all the layers got sewn together. And another technique if you have a serger you can serge this inside edge to reduce the fraying. And the last step is adding the buttons and this is going to be different for everyone. I recommend putting the cap on and feeling where your ears are and then making your marks. Once you have your marks made, you can hand sew your buttons on. And I definitely recommend adding the buttons. They save your ears a tremendous amount of stress from that elastic constantly pulling. But other than that, that completes the Style 1 scrub cap. We also have a Style 2 scrub cap video and pattern if you want to check that out. The link will be available in the description. And again, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Stay safe out there and we'll see you next time.